Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyu playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the fifth in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be building a cover of leaves and stone over the entire monument. Uh, but if you're looking for another part of the strategy in action, a link to the other videos in this series can be found in the description. Uh, in the previous videos, I killed all three of the Elder Guardians, leaving the scaffolding out there that you see. Uh, and now what I, what I want to do is I want to remove the water from inside the monument. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to be building this cover, and that's going to serve two purposes for me. Uh, first, uh, right now, the, uh, a disproportionate amount of the Guardian spawning is occurring inside the monument, uh, which would make it harder to remove the water from the inside. Uh, but after the cover's in place, uh, the balance of guardian spawning is going to shift. So uh, a lot more guardians will be spawning outside the monument, and that means less guardian spawning inside the monument, uh, which means removing the water is a bit uh, from inside the monument is a bit safer. Uh, the second purpose uh, of the cover is that the, the shape of the cover and the pattern of holes in the cover uh, are going to set up removing the water from above the monument after I've removed the water from the inside. Okay, so uh, uh, this chest here shows everything that I would need in order to build the cover. Uh, seven stacks of cobblestone, um, uh, oak leaves, and torches here. Uh, this is more material than I'll actually need, so if I, I don't actually have seven stacks of cobblestone left, I just bring everything I have remaining. Uh, I've got a good margin for error here. Um, I, uh, I've already gathered everything from my uh, stock of project materials uh, except the lava, so I'm going to have to go uh, get that from where I parked it uh, when I killed the first Elder Guardian. Uh, I've also got a couple of boats. Uh, one boat I'm going to use to get out to the monument. Uh, this boat will probably be consumed by lava, uh, and uh, I'm going to need another boat to get back. I've also got a few tools here. Um, I will be doing a little bit of uh, mining now that my mining fatigue is gone. Uh, Obviously, if I had uh, uh, tools with better durability, I wouldn't need four of them, um, uh, but I'm using stone tools. Uh, still, four stone pickaxes uh, should be sufficient. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that lava now. It's been back here the whole time. And let me get this out of my hotbar. Okay, let's uh, head back out to the monument here. Uh, now, a guardian could take a shot at me while I'm trying to get back into the sand ring that I left in the previous video, uh, but um, that's fine. Not really a big deal. Okay, oh, that boat broke. That's okay. It would have been consumed by lava anyway. Uh, and um, let me jump down here. This water is going to get a little bit annoying, so I'm going to... Uh, I'll just use these wood planks to block it off. Okay, uh, now that I'm out back inside the sand ring, uh, I want to start, um, uh, I want to start uh, building stone platforms using the lava. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to be placing leaf blocks and I'll be placing lava directly onto the leaf blocks. Uh, the leaf blocks won't be consumed by the lava because there won't be any air blocks adjacent, so there's no way for a fire to start in order to consume the uh, leaf blocks. So it's kind of weird placing lava on leaf blocks. Uh, but it's not going to be a problem. Uh, the sand pillar right here um, makes uh, kind of shortens the uh, the visible interior sides of uh, two of the sides of the sand ring. You can see that these sides look like uh, they're three blocks wide, and that's because the sand the sand pillar is blocking the fourth block. Uh, these sides over here are four blocks wide. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, sides that uh, um, where I can see three blocks. And I'm going to place a leaf block on the other side of the middle block of this um, uh, of this wall of sand here. So on the opposite side of this sand block here, and on the opposite side of this sand block over here. It, uh, I'm not going to need the torches for a while. So let me get some leaf blocks ready and some cobblestone. Okay, let's go up and uh, place that leaf block. So one leaf block right here and one leaf block right here in the middle of uh, what I can see of this particular wall. So there's a leaf block on the opposite side of that block and a leaf block on the opposite side of the, that block. Uh, and I'm going to want to place uh, lava directly onto those leaf blocks. Um, however, 
Uh, lava can kind of spill over um, into this area if I, when I place it on those leaf blocks. So I'm going to, uh, uh, well, first let me remove this torch. That's uh, That could potentially be consumed by lava if I leave it there. I'm going to put a couple of blocks down just to make sure that the lava is not spilling over. Um, I don't need to place a block right here because that ladder's here. And let me go ahead and uh, put that lava down. So right there. Let's wait for that to uh, wait for that to spread. It's basically uh, turning the water into uh, into stone as it uh, everywhere it touches. Let's go ahead and grab that. Place it on this leaf block over here. So you can see I've got uh, a nice little stone platform up here. Yeah, that one should be finished. Okay, and it creates these kind of diamond-shaped uh, stone platforms uh, with the leaf block in the center. Uh, now, uh, that's two sides done. Uh, now what I'm going to want to do is the uh, side that's directly opposite from the leaf block that I just placed over there, uh, this side over here, I'm going to want to place a leaf block on the other side of this sand block. And likewise, with um, this leaf block over here, uh, going over to the opposite side, I'm going to want to place a leaf block on the opposite side of this sand block. Uh, but for these two, I'm going to want to place the leaf block with one block of cobblestone in between. So, uh, block of cobblestone and a leaf block. And over here, a block of cobblestone and a leaf block. And let's go ahead and set down some lava here. Okay, that should be finished. And now over here. That should be done. Okay, and so now I've got four platforms. Um, uh, out in sort of a, uh, they're creating a kind of larger diamond shape uh, made out of smaller diamond shapes. Uh, and um, before I continue here, um, let's see, this sand pillar marks the front of the monument. Um, this is the front uh, left corner of the monument ring. Uh, so the front of the monument is over there. And on the back block of each of these stone platforms, I'm going to want to place a torch. So on the, that back block right over there, Okay. And uh, this platform over here uh, doesn't have a back block because it's cut off by the sand ring here, so I'm just going to temporarily place a torch right there. Uh, and um, and let's uh, clean. Let me clean this up here before we continue. I don't need uh, don't need these uh, blocks here. These were just to prevent lava from spilling over into the sand ring. Uh, that's not going to be an issue anymore. And. Um, well, sure, I guess we can uh, let the water flow back here. I don't have an axe with me, so it's going to be a little slow. Let's go ahead and get that one. Okay. All right, now we can continue. Uh, so now what I want to do is I want to um, uh, continue building out these stone platforms uh, from the edges of the existing platforms. Uh, so from here, I want to build three more platforms out, uh, one uh, uh, sort of in that direction and then two to either side. So let me um, grab my leaf block. So I want to place a leaf block, then three cobblestone and another leaf block. So there's my leaf block against the tip, then one, two, three cobblestone and another leaf block, and one, two, three cobblestone and another leaf block. Uh, so I've kind of um, added some extensions off the tip of this uh, stone platform, and I'll be creating more stone platforms over there. So uh, this is where the three blocks of lava comes in handy. Oh, the guardian took a shot at me while I was uh, managing my inventory there. Uh, okay, so, um, ah, go away. 
Okay, so um, now I can go ahead and just dump three blocks of lava. Uh, oops, not there, there. Okay, I'll let those spread. Okay, th this is where the three blocks of lava comes in handy. Uh, there are three source blocks of lava because now I don't have to wait for one. I can do three at a time. Okay, those three pla platforms are all built out, and now it's time to go ahead and add the um, torches onto those back blocks. One, two, and three. Okay, and now I'm going to go over and do another set. It looks like there's a guardian over there. I don't want him targeting me. Okay. So there's a leaf block. One, two, three cobblestone, and another leaf block. One, two, three cobblestone, and another leaf block. One, two, three cobblestone, and another leaf block. And there we go. Got another set of extensions off the tip of this uh, stone platform. Now it's time to go ahead and my, add my lava. Wait for it to spread. It's creating three more stone platforms. Okay, I think it's all finished. Okay, and now I can go and, uh, well, let me add my torches first uh, onto the back block of each of these three new platforms. There we go. And now it's time to come over and do another side. So a leaf block, three cobblestone, and a leaf block. Pretty easy pattern. Ah. Guardians will harass you a little bit as you're doing this, um, but it's pretty easy to avoid them. Um, you just have to get um, outside their targeting range or uh, run around the sand pillar uh, um, or just do anything else to, uh, to break their line of sight to you. They're not usually too much of a problem though. Okay, I think those are all done. Do you have to watch out a little bit uh, for guardians when you're building, uh, when you're dealing with the lava, because you don't want uh, the uh, knockback effect of uh, of a guardian attack to bump you into the lava. Uh, luckily, though, there's lots and lots of water around, so um, even if you uh, do touch the lava, it's pretty easy to just jump in the water and, and uh, uh, put the fire out. Okay. Oops. Okay, three more platforms here. Okay, those should be done. Okay, and uh, this is a this is a pretty fast process. You can see I've already got a relatively large section of uh, of the cover done. Um, I, I want to see what uh, this looks like from the air. Let me uh, finish adding my uh, forgotten torches here. Again, on the back block, it's it's daytime now, uh, but these torches are going to ensure that there's no mob spawning anywhere on the cover here. Okay. And actually, this temporary torch, I don't need this anymore because uh, these torches on these other platforms here are lighting everything up here. Uh, so let's uh, let me take a look at uh, what uh, let's let's take a look at uh, what this uh, looks like from the air. There we go. That's uh, that's what we have so far. Um, I'm going to be continuing to build out these stone platforms um, until the uh, until I have roughly a 64 by 64 um, uh, cover. Uh, so I'm I'll, uh, right now I have 16 of these platforms. It's actually going to require 144 platforms, um, and uh, so I will be doing this for a little while. I'm not going to be showing the whole process as I go through this, so I'm just going to be um, uh, doing a sort of time lapse from the air 
uh, that should make it uh, easy enough to follow where I'm placing uh, all of the lava blocks and everything. Uh, and I'll, uh, uh, after the entire cover is built out, um, uh, I'll go back to uh, survival mode and uh, show you how to finish this up. And that is the entire cover done. I have 144 stone platforms, each of which is a diamond shape forming this larger square here. Uh, the square is uh, 64 by 64, a little bit uh, bigger actually due to the irregular edge. Uh, and that is what I need to take care of next. So uh, let's go back down and go back into uh, survival mode here. Okay, so um, I'm going to need to trim the edges of the cover in order to make it a 64 by 64 square. Uh, that means 32 blocks to either side of center, and the exact center is the middle of this um, prismarine ring here. Uh, so I've got one, two blocks for uh, inside the sand ring, three blocks for the sand ring, and uh, on the sides of the sand ring where the leaf block is adjacent to the sand, uh, the leaf block is the fourth block in. Uh, on the sides of the sand ring where the leaf block is separated from the sand ring by a cobblestone block, uh, the leaf block is of course then the fifth block in. Uh, so um, uh, going with the sides where the leaf blocks are adjacent to the sand ring first, uh, that's four blocks, and then each successive leaf block is separated uh, by three uh, blocks of uh, uh, three blocks of stone or cobblestone, uh, so it is uh, four blocks away. So four, eight. 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, then 29, 30, 31, and 32 for this water block here. Uh, that means everything on this, the other side of that water block, uh, so everything in this line here uh, and everything over here, that's all got to be trimmed off. Uh, and for the sides where the leaf blocks are separated from the sand ring by a block of cobblestone, uh, that's five blocks in, then nine, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, 30, 31, 32. So uh, everything in this line, including the leaf blocks here and over here, has all got to be trimmed off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim that, then we'll take one last look at, uh, at the cover from the air. So uh, I'll see you back when I'm finished. And that is what the cover looks like when it's been trimmed to 64 by 64. Um, all of the uh, blocks that I trimmed off, I, I kept a hel healthy distance from the edge, so all of the blocks that I trimmed off, uh, I just kind of let fall into the ocean there. I didn't really care about them. Although I did uh, recover 16 torches. Um, uh, the, um, uh, the stone uh, platforms from which I recovered the torches uh, they no longer have torches on them, of course. They're kind of partial platforms. Uh, every block of these partial platforms is still lit to a uh, light level of 8 or above. 
Um, and that's due to the torches of adjacent stone platforms. So I don't have to worry about mobs spawning anywhere here, uh, even though I did recover some of the torches. Um, the only thing that is left to do here, oops, fell in a hole there. Um, the only thing that's left to do here then is to uh, tear down this scaffolding that was uh, the result of uh, killing the Elder Guardians. I don't need it anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and, um, uh, and uh, then return to my base in order to prepare for uh, removing the water from inside the monument. Uh, so that is it from this, uh, for this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.